Welcome to UPS News. This month, students participating in the Summer Peace Institute jointly conducted with UC Berkeley had the opportunity to take part in a two-week field study assignment that includes volunteer work in Costa Rica. In this edition, we would like to share some of their experiences working on human security. So we entered into this uh, five years ago, and our two, two uh, emphases are human security uh, and peace building. So the idea is to bring a, this younger generation together uh, to uh, discuss these problems and, uh, and how it is that uh, they can uh, use their studies uh, and their careers uh, to, better, uh, to, to better meet these threats. And uh, Costa Rica has uh, a great deal of community groups around the country uh, working on sustainable uh, development, on uh, environmental sustainability, on uh, various uh, indigenous groups, uh, people working with youth, children, city, uh, rural areas. So we try to get a mix of different uh, communities and non-governmental organizations, uh, also working with uh, government uh, that are actually engaged on sp uh, very specific campaigns that address these global issues where they live. My name is Afi, um, I go to UC Berkeley, I'm a senior, and I'm studying public health and equity. Um, and I'm minoring in African American Studies, and we decided to go to Parque de Libertad and also another site called El Comedor, and it's 45 minutes outside of the city of San Jose. Um, and that area happens to be a very, very, very poor community. And so part of what my group did was um, we helped prepare the lunches um, and serve to the um, students. We definitely had to ration because part of El Comedor was it was um, a community organization. It was not funded by the government, and so um, everything they, could get, they get for the organization, all the food, um, all the materials for the paint and like everything for the children is donated from the community. And then on our second site was Parque de Libertad, which was completely different. Um, it was funded by like the government, the Costa Rican government, um, and it was initially a cement factory, but they transformed it into a green space and um, are trying to make sustainable ways of like living in like the forest and stuff to where like they create their own vegetables, their own food and everything. They have different um, activities, recreational activities, a technology and computers program, a small business, um, inspirational program um, for community members and it was just like they have so much um, they're offering for the community it was great to be able to do that even if it was like just a short two weeks uh, okay, so, also one of the so we went to um, Asoprola which is in the South Pacific of Costa Rica and they're an organization focused in providing sustainable practices um, for food production and to alleviate food security in the district of Biolay and the 12 communities that incorporate the district. Uh, and something really important that they focused on was trying to uh, create harmony with um, individuals in the community as well uh, with nature. So they really wanted us to have a really good understanding that we affect nature and nature affects us. Um, so understanding that connection and then trying to work towards uh, creating sustainable practices that promote that. Um, and for me, I think that learning that was really powerful just because um, I never really had that understanding previously, and I think that understanding that uh, makes, makes me realize how valuable the environment is and how important um, our connection is with it and how important it is for us in return. Thank you for watching this edition of UPS News. Stay tuned!